Everyone, hope all is well. Dr. Obam Bowen here again. And again, it is still 2021, which makes this the year of the one thing. That's the year of the one thing. So what is your one thing this year? Drop your one thing in the comments. Make sure you comment below what your one thing is. You know, uh, quite a few folks have been asking me, um, you know, how do they figure out their one thing? Uh, sometime within the course of the next seven days, I'm actually just going to do a special webinar training, uh, probably about an hour and a half to teach you to go in depth on how to find your one thing. So what's your one thing? If you know it, type it in. If you don't know, then just say webinar and eventually I'll make a list to invite you guys all on there to teach you how to do that. So my one thing this year is growth and growth requires you consistently getting out of your current comfort zone, wherever that is or wherever that might lead you. So let's go into today's topic because today's topic is going to be very, very powerful and it's going to be very helpful to you. But Today, I'm going to talk about the three reasons why, oh, my camera dropping here, the three reasons why resolutions don't work. So, as you notice, I'm not coming to you from no professional studio. <laughs> not today, Junior. I'm actually getting ready to jump on the road and drive back home to Atlanta, Georgia from Albany. So, talk to you about the three reasons why resolutions don't work. So, number one. Number one goes back to the, the first topic we talked about yesterday, which was um, how to make plans and stick to it consistently. So, let's talk about that for a second. This is the main reasons why resolutions do not work. Because... People make a plan. They don't, they don't have what some may call stick They don't have stick because when they make a plan, once you make a resolution, it's something that's good, it's nice, it's traditional, it's what some people do. So there's not that much of a commitment to it. And if there's not that much of a commitment to it, if you're not committed to something, it's not going to happen. See, the definition of commitment itself is this. Commitment is doing the thing you said you're going to do long after the feeling, the emotion, or the excitement you set it in has left and gone. And all too often, most people aren't committed enough because they're not going to take it and make it, guess what, an affirmation, an affirmative thought, which is something you look at and do every single day. They're not going to do that. And here's what happens. First, they don't know the second part, which is the meaning of resolute. Okay? Resolute means that it's something that you're going to do that is definite. Napoleon Hill talks about it in the book, to, um, I'm about to talk about my own book, about think and grow rich. Definiteness of purpose. When you are definite about something, when you must, like for example, you must breathe if you want to live. You are definite that you're going to breathe if you want to live. When it becomes that important for you, that is the only way you will then make that. So when most people, when they make a resolution, it's just something they write, they put it down. I see people who put it, write it down on walls, frame it, put it there, and they just left it. And it's so nice and pretty. They run year after year, and they're, oh, these are all my resolutions. You ask them, how many did they uh, actually accomplish? Zero. Do you know why? Because those resolutions did not become goals. Those goals weren't put into achievable things, steps. Those steps weren't put into benchmarks. So it wasn't something that they were really resolute about. And here's what that takes them into. Number three, takes them into a life of apathy. Now, let me tell you about apathy because remember this year, the whole focus is on growth. And that's what we're going to come back to here because apathy is a natural human instinct. See, it is common to us all and it consistently forces us to seek a comfort zone where nothing ever changes. Well, what does that mean? That means when you set the goal, when you set this resolution, let's say it was to lose weight because that's the one. That's, that's the big one. Most people set a goal to lose weight. And I did some research with LA Fitness years ago. Basically, from December 21st, they, they check like over the charts, over eight eight year period, December 21st to February 11th is when they make 83% of their sales for the entire year. So the February 12th is when everybody drops off. February, it's crazy. February, I mean, December 20th is when they all make this goal. So because when you set a goal, if you don't put action steps to plan most of the, to lose weight, well, how much weight? By what time? How long? How many days a week are you going to work out? 
how well are you going to eat? And they forget the other part is 80% is nutrition and only 20% is the workout. So apathy is what the life that they're left with, which is the life of comfort. You're in a comfort zone. It's forcing you. Listen, it didn't say like apathy is a natural human instinct that's helping you get. No, it's forcing you. So you have to force change. Change does not come easily. And if there's anything you remember with this year, this year, to get to do your one thing, you need to force change from yourself, whatever your one thing is. Is. What is your one thing? My one thing this year is growth. Choose growth because growth is uncomfortable. But when you choose not to grow, oh, you're living a life of apathy. And that means that it's just your natural human instinct. And the only thing that separates us from the birds and the bees is a choice. And you have the choice today to choose growth.